sigils. Do you use them? Are they interesting to you? Have you had one that's really worked? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to actually do a very simple sigil and one that will really aid you in your practice. So if you're interested in sigils, making them, carry on watching. Hi guys, it's Tuva and I am excited really. I want to show you how I do sigils. And yes, as a Norse practitioner, um, we don't um, always we don't. do sigils. We use runes a lot, but you can still use sigils. They're very good and very easy to do. And you will see results from it if you do them the right way. So first of all, I want to talk about what is a sigil? Well, a sigil is a magical item which has your intent within it, a very positive intent. You must never say, I want or I need. It has to be a positive statement. In other words, you've already got it. So like, for example, if you was to say, I need money now. That is not you saying, I really am desperate. It is actually saying, I'm never going to get it. I'm never going to receive it. And so what you would need to say instead is, this money is abundant. I am ecstatic in the money. The money has solved my issues. And so, as you can see, you are talking about the present, but not in a negative way. And that is the first thing to get in your minds. There are rules. Right. Number one, write in the present text. And number two, never use I want. Number three, be realistic. Number four, be precise in what you ask for in around seven words. You don't want too much, just enough to make a sentence. The word sigil in Latin means seal, your seal of approval. If you look, signature was also relevant, comes from that word. So we know that seal and signature, it's all the same thing. When you write your signature, you are putting your intent on whatever it is you're signing. You're saying, I agree. It's in the present text. You're agreeing to a financial thing or a job or whatever it is you're signing. So again, it is a form of a sigil and it can be long term or short term. So that's very interesting when you look at it that way. In the old days, they would seal their letters, not just with a signature, but with wax and a stamp. You're putting your stamp on. So it's really good. I find it very, very interesting. All you need for this sort of thing is yourself in a calm mood, nice lighting, nice quietness, a small piece of paper and a normal pen will do. Yes, you could use the scroll like I've done in other things, but to be honest, a pen will be suffice and you want it to be as simple as possible. Now I like incense, so I'm gonna light an incense stick and this is dragon's blood protection. I do like to surround myself in lovely fragrances and don't want to go out. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm gonna put that in here and we've got some incense. Now I have a bell guys. You don't have to, but it's something I like, I like to do it to sort so of make my intent known. So I will ring the bell to say this session has started. And we go like that. And now it's started. Now what you need to do is think what your intent is. What is it you want? Now I'm my health is so good. My health is so good. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Up to seven is fine. So, you don't my health 
is so good. Right, now that would be because you need your health improving, but you don't want to say, I need my health to improve because that is you saying, I don't think it will. So you need to put it down as my health is so good. That is in the present, that's where you want it to be. You want your health to be so good and that is what you're seeking. So you need to be making sure that it is in that type of way of putting it because otherwise you're going to reap something totally different and negative. Yeah. And so then good. what you do is you take out the vowels. Then you want to take out any letter that has there is more there is of. More. So if you've got more than one M in it, you take them out as well. So like in this one, I yeah. take out the two H's and the two S's. And there I'm left with an M, a Y, an L, a T, a G and a D. Yep. So what you then need to do is make a pattern out of the letters. And while you're doing it, just think about how healthy you are. Be thankful for what you are, for what you have. But also see yourself really doing the things you want to be doing, like if you want to be more active or if you want to be eating more, more better. better. You think about those things while you are making a pattern and you just go with the flow and so, you will be left with a pattern. Now you can be very artistic with this and spend lots of time adding little bits like arrows and circles where you want to see a circle or two. Um, and it's where you feel drawn at the end of the day. And whatever you do is not going to ruin it. So just do what you feel. And if you like what you see, when you've finished it, you do a circle or a square. Some people do a square, some people do a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. And you are left with your sigil. Now that is your sigil. And you can take this piece of paper. Guys, some people like to cut them out. Some people just like to leave them on the piece of paper that they did it on. But I'm gonna cut this out. So as you... Okay. And there you have your sigil. And it's for you. This is for you. This is going to be the thing that does what you're asking. Now yeah. there are three types, if not more, of sigils. The first one is destruction sigil. It's the way it is charged is by setting it alight. If you're going to do it that way, make sure you've got a container big enough. I burn things in here, but I have a great big um, cauldron, so it's no problem for me. So that would be a, a destruction one. The next um, type of sigil is a temporary sigil and that one will be drawn on your arm or any other part of you and it will wear off and that will take into account if you've got a candle and you want to put a sigil on the candle and you carve it in, it will gradually melt with the wax. Right. So and then you have your permanent sigils which are done like this but then added to places that are hidden or put in cupboards or behind walls or in picture frames or outside under the doormat. These sigils can be made also out of pottery and clay and wood and things like that, even metals. And you can do these and they will stay permanent and they would need recharging every now and then to keep it going. But if it was something like protection, you could do a sigil which would stay outside around the house. Or you can use it as a piece of jewellery or something that you can wear. You can even put it in your shoes. You can carve it into a shoe underneath. So there's so many things you can do with sigils. And sigils, guys, really do work. I love sigils. 
and you can be very creative with them. You can colour them in, spend lots of time doing them. But today, as I'm just showing you how to do it, it's very simple. Okay yeah. guys, so the next part of this ritual, to burn the sigil. Now, to make the intent perfect, you need to roll it up and while you're rolling it, keep saying it over and over in your own time. And you've got that then. And you want to just burn it. So now, as, as it's burning, you want to beat your drum or you want to sit there and let your mind go. Don't be in control of it. Because at the end of the day, it is your higher self which is sending that power. So we're going to set it alight. and beat the drum. Okay, and now as it's burning, I'm beating my drum and I'm thinking about where I want this intent to go. But always stay positive, guys, until it burns. Now this is the destructive one. Let yourself go vacant. Let your inner self, your power, let your higher energy send it. And there you go, it's going. And believe it. And once it is gone, it's done. So there you go guys, that was difficult to burn and that is because you are going against an energy that might be causing you the problem that is what you're trying to cure. So that's a good sign, it means that your energy is actually working, it's actually doing something. So don't be surprised if you have trouble keeping it burning. Now if you want to do a sigil on your arm or your leg or somewhere, you just do the same thing. So you would get your arm and get some eyeliner or something like that and just put it on there, how you drew it on the paper on your arm. And when it's done, you keep it on for maybe half a day or till you have a bath you know, so it would only be for a day, but it would be temporary. But also, you can do your own sigils in clay and things like that. It's quite an interesting subject and something that you can spend a lot of time on. And you will find doing more than one over and over, you'll see more results, you'll see things really happening and it will give you that confidence to then go out and start to try other things of too. Of course there are many other methods and one of them when I was in the coven years ago we would use Theban script. Now Theban script is an alphabet which, which is used and so you would get your letters and then you would do it in the Theban script so you'd find the letter that corresponded to your letter and then draw that and it makes some very interesting shapes and of course there are other alphabets and even runes you can do it in many ways there's also the other way where you draw a box and you put in all the alphabets in like an a box for Mars or Jupiter. I don't know if any of you have done and that. Then the letters that you end up with, you circle and it gives you a shape. And it is supposed to be mathematically done. And that can be very, very good. You get very good results from that. But of course, these things take time. And to do a simple one like we did today will work just as well, guys. So I hope this has been of some sort of interest. And Thank you to my new subscribers. Really do appreciate it. Thank you to those that are always there supporting the channel. I really do appreciate you too, guys. And hope that this has helped you and given you a little bit more confidence in how to do sigils. I'm going to leave it there. 
wherever you are, whatever time of day, night or evening it may be. I wish you the best ever. House of Elaine. Ah!